So far this summer, Manchester United have signed three new players. Victor Lindelof, a new centre-back from Benfica. Nemanja Matic, a new central midfielder from Chelsea. And of course, Romelu Lukaku, a new striker from Everton. But with only a couple of days left in the transfer window, I want to know from you, do you think that Man United need to complete a fourth signing to have a squad capable of challenging for the Premier League title and going far in the UEFA Champions League? Jose Mourinho certainly wanted a fourth signing this summer. He wanted to sign Ivan Perisic from Inter Milan, the traditional winger who's more capable of going outside a fullback than he is going inside and whipping a cross in, would have suited Manchester United perfectly in terms of the balance he would have added to our options up front. We don't really have anybody in the squad apart from Antonio Valencia and his crosses are questionable. Who can do that? But Perisic is staying at Inter Milan. We refused to pay the 50 million that Inter Milan wanted for him and now he's staying and probably going to sign a contract extension. We tried to look at Thomas Lamar. Well, that's what reports suggested, but nothing has really happened there. And with Monaco rejecting a £66 million bid from Liverpool for Lamar, maybe he's not on the market anyway. And then you've got Alexis Sanchez. With him clearly frustrated at a free-falling and collapsing Arsenal squad, is he going to be available this summer? And would he be a good signing for Manchester United? Let me know in the comments below, because I mentioned this earlier in the summer. And prior to the season started, I would have said absolutely bring Sanchez in. But with Martial starting the season in such fine form, Mkhitaryan starting the season in such fine form, do Man United need a player like Alexis Sanchez? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. One position I do think Man United do need to strengthen in terms of strength in depth is central midfield, which is why I was a bit confused that we didn't go after Renato Sanchez. Get him on a loan deal with a view to buy next summer for a lot less than the, what, 60, 70 million that we were quoted before he moved to Bayern Munich. I think that will be a very smart signing, strengthening an area where if we get an injury to Pogba, Matic or Herrera, Man United don't have that many other midfield options. We're going to see Michael Carrick starting a lot more games and Marouane Fellaini starting a lot more games, neither of which I feel suit Manchester United this season. Both have a purpose and can be used in the right way just not every single week. And an injury to Herrera, Pogba or Matic, I think Man United are weak in that position. That's why I would like to see Renato Sanchez brought in on loan. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, we've been linked to fullbacks. Serge Aurier from PSG. He's reportedly on his way to Spurs, but then separate reports suggest that he actually wants to move to Manchester United instead. But do Man United need another top draw right back with Antonio Valencia in the squad? Damian as backup and Tuan Zebe as backup. Again, let me know what you think in the comments. And the final position we've been linked with lots of players is, of course, at left back, which for me is the biggest weakness that Man United currently have in our starting 11. Daley Blind's been playing there. I don't think he's, well, he can't play there as a modern day fullback. A modern day fullback needs to have pace and energy. Two things that I don't think Blind has in abundance. By energy, I mean his ability to recover. When he runs forward and gets a cross in, the ability to get back into position quick enough that the attackers can't expose it. Riyad Mahrez had so much space against Man United when Leicester played in the 2-0 loss at the weekend, but Leicester were unable to expose that. Other teams will be able to. And fingers crossed that Luke Shaw can come in and feel like a new signing and just show how good he still can be for Manchester United. Injuries have really curtailed the start of his Manchester United career. And prior to him getting injured, that partnership he was starting to build with Memphis Depay on the left looked fantastic. And I have every belief that Man United can hopefully get a top world-class left back in Luke Shaw when he does return from injury. But of course, we'll be linked to Danny Rose from Spurs, who said he'd like to play in the North and clearly wants to win titles. Man United are certainly the early favourites for the Premier League title, but will that continue? We need to play a top six team and see our credentials at that point. We're back in the Champions League this year. We're going to be playing the elite level opposition in Europe instead of being in the Europa League. We've got the League Cup starting soon. We've got the FA Cup starting in January. But do you think Man United's squad, as it currently stands, is capable and strong enough to compete on all fronts? Let me know in the comments below if there's anybody you think we should be signing in the next couple of days. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.